Welcome to George and Jane YouTube video channel of adventures and hobbies. Please subscribe and like, comments, welcome. Don't forget to browse the playlists. Despite being under the weather, uh, or oh, off colour, somebody might say, I can't just sit around watching telly all day and do nothing, so I've been doing jobs in the garage. <coughs> and uh, one thing or another and uh, I was given a switch mode power supply module a while back and uh, brand new it wasn't suitable for his project so he gave it to me which was very kind of him and I'm going to use it in um, building a power unit to drive a lot of my radio equipment um, originally I spotted this 110 watt amplifier at a car boot sale and I thought that's a lovely box I'll use that to build my power unit in but I've not tested it fully but I've been told it's fully working so it seems a shame to break up this amplifier and uh, just for bits or just the case so I've seen online this blue metal box equipment enclosure housing it was £13 including postage and so I've built it in here the power unit so it's cost me £13 for the case these terminals are a pound each so it's 13, 40, 50, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21 pound and so far on the project oops lift this up there we go I bought this RS mains filter to put extra filtering on the mains I've given the or scrounge this on off switch from your neighbour or here already had this panel indicator so with all the extra bits it's cost me under 25 pounds so far the only thing I haven't got is I want to put fuses on each of these outlets so I need a four-way fuse box so I'm going to fit a car one in here and they're about three or four pound and um, I've built using what I had laying around low pass filters for each of these outlets and the idea is that it will help reduce any RF interference from the switch mode unit it's 12 volt sorry 13.8 volt output at 30 amps so this will be able to drive you know my radio kit I do know from experience that these switch mode units are not meant for radio kit because I generate a lot of interference but the interference is is below 10 megs so I'm hoping it's going to be okay on my 70 sems and 2 meter transceivers and also possibly on the power amplifiers I'm going to be running when I get round to building or buying them I'm trying to do this on a low budget now what I've got to do to really finish it so far is drill a, a hole in, in the back panel here to pass the mains cable through and um, I've got to find some way of cord grip and I haven't got anything so that's the idea and um, I've got some mains cables here which I can possibly use oh yeah so excuse me <coughs> okay um, I've just been had some dinner and I needed to sit down and have a rest 
and uh, I can't remember where I left off but what I've done is I've used I don't know if you can see it put it in the light there for a cable clamp it goes through the main cable goes through a rubber grommet upside it's aluminium and it's got a cable tie around it so it's really tight and you've got a lot of neutral and the earth goes straight to the power supply earth which also goes to the, the main case earth and things like that and uh, what I need to do is to drill somewhere and have the the earth the chassis is earth the back's earth and the front's earth but the top section isn't so I've got to find a way of um, earthing it I might have to put an extra screw in the other side I'll right, drill it there put a self tapper through clean the paint off yeah that might do it to have an earth for the top case because that's one problem with these cases is you can see the metal doesn't always touch on metal these are not connected to earth at all and when the, ca the case screws into the plastic not into metal on metal so that's not good really and uh, I did mention there's no I'm going to put fuse on e each individual outlet when the fuse holders come but for the time being I'll leave it as it is so I can t test it okay well I've got the power supply now I built it's running my G90 it's running my homemade um, linear amplifier it's also running my Retivis um, 2 meter 77 dual bander into a dummy load and uh, this is running 50 60 watts so it's possibly about um, 10 amps for this so I'm probably running 16 amps half the capacity of the power unit um, I haven't spotted any interference from the switch mode so these individual low pass filters I made seem to be working um, I'll just have a quick look at the bands I know there's people on that's the uh, these are stations so these are stations quite a bit of reflection that's a bit of interference there definitely switch one of these radios off made no difference a little bit of buzzing there Okay, let's go to the. Um, I don't use, I only use like 40 meter and 20 meter bands, so let's go up a band, shall we? Bit of QRM there from the switch mode. That's not band I use. Not much happening on that band anyway. Let's disconnect this radio. That's 
sounds alright. So I'm pretty pleased really. So just going over the cost. It's a 30 amp switch mode power supply I was given. This case was £13, including postage. The switch I scrounged from my neighbour, the main switch. So 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 21 pound um, spent so far. The lights I already had, so it's £21. The filter was £3, I believe. So let's say £25. Uh, yeah. So £25. There's no individual fuses for these yet inside, but all these wires coming out to the radios have all got fuses on anyway. Um, they have about 450 I think so 25 30 30 pound most on building this uh, yeah pretty chuffed I'm well, looking at the price of switch mode power supplies and you're talking two or three hundred pounds for one so yeah pretty good so I'm really chuffed about that but it's time for me to pack in because I'm suffering and uh, I think I need to lay down for a few hours and uh, I'll have a glass of rum, I should think, or several. That way it gets me to sleep. So thanks for watching. <coughs>